Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here, the limit as x approaches zero from the left of the absolute value of x over x, and we need to evaluate this limit. Now this one's a little tricky, and I'm going to use a table here to try to see what's going on, what's happening at zero, right? Because really, we can't plug zero into this equation. So if we use a table of just, you know, x and f of x, let's see what happens when we plug in as we approach zero from both sides, and then we'll go from there. If I put a negative 3 in for x, what happens? Well, the numerator here, negative 3 goes in, becomes a positive 3, right, with the absolute value, but we're divided by negative 3, so the overall equation becomes a negative 1. If we plug negative 2 in, same thing, negative 2 in for x, absolute value makes a positive 2, dividing it by negative 2, negative 1. We do the same thing with negative 1, up top, becomes a positive 1, divide by negative 1, negative 1. 0, we can't really put in there, it does not exist, right, we can't divide it by 0. But if we put a positive 1 in, absolute value of positive 1 is 1, divided by itself, 1. Put a 2 in, same idea, absolute value of 2 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And lastly, a cube of 3, absolute value of 3 is 3, divided by 3 itself is 3. Oh, is 1. I almost went through it. I was wondering if I was going to make that mistake. We have a 1 there. I can't believe I did that. All right. So what happens here? Well, when x is negative, our output is just a negative 1. When x is a positive 1, or positive, our output's a positive 1. So we're approaching 0, right, that does not exist, and we're approaching from the left there. So if we're approaching from the left, it's going to approach, well, the negative values is always going to be negative leading up to 0. That means we're approaching the y value of a negative 1. And so this limit here is equal to negative 1, and that's our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.